Hey, hey, welcome or welcome back. It is, as always, good to see you. I hope you all have had a lovely day and are doing well. This week is a hot one in my area. We've had heat advisories all week, but you know, what are you gonna do? It's the price we pay for, you know, spring, beginning of early summer in the Midwest, hot and humid. But I just wanted to do a quick video about something that I, that's really none of my business, and that's <laughs> how much Amberlynn earns each month on YouTube. People have been speculating about her income for a while, and if I remember correctly, a few years ago, maybe two-ish years ago, two and a half, she had said something along the lines of she makes like 10k each month from YouTube ad revenue. That is a lot for the very small amount of effort that Amberlynn puts into YouTube. But, you know, hey, it's her business. But we did have somebody on Telenim bring up this. Does it burn you up that your views have sharply declined? I am a YouTuber as well, and I know that hovering around 50k views with no sponsorship leads to only around $2,000 to $4,000 a month. How are you maintaining your lifestyle with a sudden decline in income? Amberlynn responds with, I think people have the wrong idea when it comes to how much YouTubers are paid. Chantal is very open about her income, so I am only repeating what she said a few nights ago. She made $15,000 this month. I have more views than her. No shade, this is just for example purposes. So do you really think I need another job? Listen, even if I did only make 4,000 a month, do you know how amazing that is and how much I would still appreciate this job? There are plenty of YouTubers out there who get less views than I do with no sponsorships and they make a living. I don't get paid as much as I used to, but I am okay with that because I still make great money that I am extremely grateful for. No other job that I would get right now would pay me as much as being a YouTuber does. Wow, um, if Chantal, aka Foodie Beauty, made $15,000 this month, or I guess in May, that's insane. I, man, my channel is not monetized. I'm nowhere near having enough subscribers and, and or viewers to be, to be monetized. So subscribe. If we look at their channels, Foodie Beauty has 92,000 subscribers. Amber Lynn has 201,000 subscribers and gets uh, around 40,000 views on videos that are pretty recent. And then they get up to, you know, 50, 60,000 once they've been out for a month. Foodie Beauty has nowhere near that, like Amberlynn said. I mean, she has like 11,000 here, 14,000 here. You know, going back a little ways, we're getting up to, you know, 24,000. So Amberlynn is not wrong in her assessment of her views in membership or subscribers versus Foodie Beauty. So if, so if Foodie Beauty makes 15,000 a month, how much does Amberlynn make a month? She said she used to make 10,000 and she doesn't make as much as she used to. So does she make like 8,000 a month? There are some websites out there where you can try to estimate like a YouTuber's earnings, but I don't think they're very accurate because if Chantal makes $15,000 a month and we look at this on, what's it called? Noxinfluencer.com. This website estimates that she makes about $6,000 a month. Now, keep in mind, I don't know if this is US dollars or Canadian dollars this is being presented in. Foodie Beauty is in Canada. But if she makes $15,000 a month, she said, this is like 30% of that. So if Amber Lynn were to make almost three times what's being shown here, on this particular website, could make um, make around ten thousand dollars a month still. I mean, she may be making like eight or nine thousand, which that is insane to me that she makes that much money 
doing as little work as she does. <laughs> I don't make that much a month and I work my tail off. However, let's take a look at what Amberlynn has said recently about what she spends each month. Well, first, before that, here we have, again, from Telenim, this is somebody saying, your life isn't full of content, then maybe stop being a YouTuber if you can't come up with video ideas. If you have basically no life, come up with sit-down videos or challenges. Why would you daily vlog when you do nothing? Amberlynn says, I love daily vlogging, and 50,000 plus people watch them. That is a lot of people. Again, I truly enjoy vlogging, and I will be continuing to do so. There were the most requested video, so that is what my channel will be now. Well, yeah, she can sit back and make $9,000 a month just showing us one item from a Torrid bag each video and opening an Amazon box and showing us her stupid scratch art. Of course she's going to keep doing it. So, yeah, she's not going to quit being a YouTuber whenever just doing the minimal effort is going to earn her income. So here we have somebody had asked her previously, how much are you paying for outpatient therapy services? I live in the UK, and it's mind-boggling how you have to pay for healthcare in the US. Obviously, we have private insurance, blah, blah, blah. Amber said a few thousand a month. And then, remember she told us how much she spent on Uber Eats each month. She said easily over 3,000. And then she just told us recently here in the last week that she will typically spend 200 to $600 on a tour at Hall. So if she's doing all three of things, all three of these things in a month, torrid, eating out, and outpatient. It's 3,000, 3,000, and we'll say average of 400. So like $6,400. And then she still has rent and utilities and those sorts of things. Now, she hasn't been eating out as much. So we could probably cut that down to maybe, I don't know, 1,000 a month. <laughs> But then, you know, she does get her BarkBox um, subscriptions and stuff for Twinkie. But, wow. She has to make at least, I would say, 6000 a month for her to be able to spend what she does on things with the Amazon, the Torrid, the Outpatient, and then just day-to-day -day living for rent, utilities, those sorts of things, groceries. It's mind-boggling to me but at least it seems like she does appreciate it and understand how fortunate she is to be in her situation because there aren't many jobs that she would be able to do at her size so at least she seems somewhat grateful that all of us watching her train wreck of a life does pay for her to live that's crazy. Well, that's all we have for this one. I just wanted to do a quick video about this because it just blew my mind how much Foodie Beauty makes and if Amber Lynn makes the same or more, I don't know. It's a little concerning because she says she didn't make as much as she used to, but then she seemed to kind of hint that she makes more than Foodie Beauty. I don't know. I know all of the calculators are wrong, and I'm not monetized, so I don't have any personal experience to relate to it, so I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think down below, and until next time, be safe and take care.